Hey everyone, thanks for joining and welcome to this week's episode. And for those of you watching this for the first time, welcome to my channel and my name is Sofian. So yeah, I know it's been a few weeks but there's been a lot happening over the last few weeks and I'm, I'll, I'm tend to update in this vlog but I thought, especially for those who haven't watched the previous episode, I thought I'd share a little recap before I go on to the updates. So without further ado, let's get started. So, I talked about looking for a property that has a garden space which has potential to grow some Southeast Asian aromatics and herbs in Portugal. Personally for me, it is interesting how I took some ingredients from granted when I lived in Singapore and in Australia. I was able to find most of the fresh ingredients in supermarkets and in farmers market. However, in Portugal, many ingredients are either unavailable, sold frozen or dried. Some of the ingredients that are not freshly available here would include pandan leaves, galangal and lemongrass. I can only find frozen ones in the supermarkets. So this is how I had the idea to grow my own Southeast Asian aromatics and herbs to expand my menu for my supper club events. While searching for this property, in my apartment in Lisbon, I tried to grow my own aromatics and herbs and this includes Vietnamese mint, pandan leaves, curry plant, lemongrass, turmeric, chilies, and Thai basil. Fresh turmeric leaves is something I can't get over here. I like to use the fresh ones or dried turmeric leaves and the leaves actually enhances the aromas in my Malay dishes I cook. It's subtle for the diners, but for me, it helps to elevate the flavors in my Malay dishes. So these are some of the reasons why I would like to have a place to grow my own aromatics and herbs. During the past few years, I've travelled around Portugal to view properties and check out the areas. So now, you might notice the links in why I put my travels around Portugal in my vlogs. After all the travels and property viewings, I spotted this one in Madeira. The property is located on the western part of the island in the parish of Calieta. Here's how the property looks like. Looking at the land space, I can see the potential growing an aromatic garden. The agreement was made shortly after I left Madeira and the 10% deposit was paid. The next day, I saw this email that says the property is no longer listed and I was informed I will receive the keys in June. To be honest, it is both exciting and scary. I have been viewing properties and land plots over the years and thought maybe this won't become a reality. But just when I thought this will never happen, this property in Madeira came up. And to be honest, I wasn't even excited about it. I visited Madeira in 2021 and at that time, I wasn't sure about the possibility in living on the island. The vloggers Stay Classy made it so appealing that I guess I put very high expectations on the island. So it didn't seem appealing at the time when I first visited. And this time coming to the island again, my perception has somewhat changed and I saw a potential. So three exciting things that I will be involved in Madeira in the upcoming months. First is the house, but it will need some renovation. It's been abandoned for about two decades and it needs to be updated to the 21st century. I will be adding some personal touches to make it comfortable for living. And I'm currently working on plans and will update in the upcoming vlogs.
I don't want to rush into getting it ready as soon as possible, so I think this would take about a year to complete. Second will be the garden space. The garden space will be divided into two sections. So on one side, you have the swimming pool, which I will need to apply for permission. And then on the other side will be the aromatic and herb garden. I'm excited to grow some aromatics and herbs and I plan to take my time and also learn as I go. The list I have is quite exhaustive and I will adjust accordingly when I'm there. So here are some of the plants I intend to start growing. It'll be lemongrass, pandan, curry plant, chilies, okra, bitter gourd, cafe lime, calamansi, Thai basil, Vietnamese mint or laksa leaves, galangal, turmeric, and butterfly pea flower. With all these ingredients I'm going to grow, at a later point, it'll be somewhat of a farm-to-table experience for Madeirans. I might consider doing supper club events there, but I need to do more research on it. It won't happen so soon, as I need to build the foundation first. So, with that, I've come to the end of my update on this week's vlog. The keys will be collected in June, and I will update as I move forward with this project. I will do my best to post as often as I can, and will share the updates once the project gets started. So guys, thanks very much for watching this week's episode. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. And I will see you again soon. So take care and ciao ciao.